Day 27. My darling Felicity, I am in need of beeswax, and as I contemplate several days of bee hunting, I am reminded of the hives your grandfather kept in the meadow behind your house, and of a terrible secret he made me swear I would never reveal to you. I do not take an oath of secrecy lightly, but as you will almost certainly never read these words, I feel I must unburden myself of the weight I have carried these long years. The young bee, which you kept in a jar and named Titus, did not, in reality, survive his encounter with your father's newspaper. Your grandfather greatly exaggerated his capabilities as a veterinarian because it broke his heart to see your little tears as you carefully retrieved Titus's broken body from the pages of the Financial Times. The bee you returned to you was not Titus at all, but an entirely different bee whose leg your grandfather had bandaged to help sell the lie, followed by 2,127 subsequent bees over the course of nine years. Rest assured that I shall honor both his memory and that of brave young Titus by trying not to hurt any more bees than is absolutely necessary when I smash open their homes with an axe and take the fruits of their labor. Hello, welcome to Night's Arcade. I'm Sleepless Night. We are back in Among Trees. You know, I've had almost a week off, sort of. Like, half off. Not really, actually, any real time off. But I kind of... I actually did work half as long at night time as I'm sort of used to. Oh, dog brain stems to make a row. Okay. So, like, today we are going to go looking for the rest of the ingredients to make our fish coat. But to do that, we need to tackle lots and lots of bees. Because that is what we're missing. We have the cattails, we've got the stump moss, we've got the waltz blake skin. But we need an absolute ton of beeswax. Because there's none in there. Um, but, but, okay, there's none in there. I thought there was some in there. but there, Okay, there's three. So we need five beeswax. So if you look at my inventory, you see I've kind of got stocked up here. Oh, we don't need the rope. Let's put the rope back. We don't need the rope. We need these inventory spaces because we're gonna get we're gonna you know collect no doubt honey and beeswax. We're gonna collect other foodstuffs as well, probably along the way. And we're also gonna need to bring the tent, of course. What am I doing? Right. So let's go get the tent and be on our way. Good grief! Wow. Let's go get the tent and be on our way. So we need the tent. We have a campfire with us. I guess maybe we shouldn't really need that, but let's just take it. Okay. So we're going to only pick up. We don't need any beets. We're not going to need any beets on our travels. I mean, maybe to make our sort of first stewy thing, but now it kind of should be noted here that I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to find beeswax. Um, obviously in beehives, I know I found it before, but so I think we're going to head in this direction over here <clears throat> i think so that is to the east so let's um let's pop out the compass there and easterly is that way let's do an easterly thing and away we go so while we're starting off on our wee trek here in search of a million beehives. I should tell you there are going to be changes coming to the channel. So that was kind of the purpose of my week off. Which is why it wasn't really exactly a week off. Because the idea was for me to think about. To spend some time, relax. Clear my head a little bit. And think about the direction for the channel. Because as has been pointed out to me once or twice. <clears throat> my content. As much as the people who pointed this out to me seem to enjoy my content that you know it's kind of all over the place so it's like you know you don't really know and that is because i really enjoy doing different things and playing different games you know i love it i love playing different games 
and uh, I probably shouldn't be picking up these sticks. Uh, yeah, I love playing different games. Oh, there, so here we got one beehive. Here we go. Retrieve our axe and get ready to run. Okay, run. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're bee free. I want to be free. Now, the only problem is finding the um, the beehive. Oh, there we go. Right, so that's one. Um, I can't honestly remember how many we need. Five. That's right, we need five. So uh, the chances of me keeping track of how many we've got, I don't know. That's one, anyway. And we're going to keep trekking on this way. Let's see. Yeah, so the problem for me has been, you know, I like making the reviews and people, you know, a lot of people have come to my channel because of my ultimate reviews and I'm going to keep making those. But the Let's Plays, as has been pointed out, are kind of all over the place. Now, I, you know, I really like making let's plays um okay yes i've been going west of course instead of east which was pretty stupid i think we can all agree let's go north instead then and pretend that was the plan all along <laughs> yeah i'm not concentrating today the stream i just did was a bit of a disaster because i was trying to stream a game that i knew my computer would probably struggle to run the stream and the game at the same time but because it was a halloween special i thought well dial down the settings and try but it still came with a few issues uh so yeah it the problem is that i i kind of struggle you know i don't really want to become a niche in terms of you know i don't want to stick to one game uh one type of game is a possibility like for example you know if i did like space games or something you know so that's you know that's a possibility and look at the map um but i i even find that difficult because when there are new games that i kind of like i just want to play them i don't really care you know, I understand that you get a better audience faster and, you know, you can grow your audience quicker. But we should probably pick these dog brain stems up by being really niche and sticking to one or two games. But I find that really hard and I kind of want to share my enjoyment of the games that I do play. And of course, I've got to play a lot of games anyway for reviews. So, you know, why not put them on the channel as Let's Plays while I'm at it? But um, it has to have some sort of focus I think the other uh, similar things don't. Oh dear. Well, we ran out of space real fast there, didn't we? Um, well, let me drop. Let's drop the sticks there. I probably didn't need to bring these med kits, did I? But, you know, we'll see. Whip the old compass out. You're a compass. Um. <clears throat> so yeah but of course what i do that i kind of can't avoid doing um that i keep coming back to as you'll see with the among trees videos that i've been doing here is that i can't avoid telling stories so i'm a writer as a hobby and have been all my life and i'm a voiceover artist professionally and I love doing the voices and getting into characters and writing the little stories and stuff like that, like these little diary entries. But So it was suggested by my wife and a couple of other people that maybe I just expand that and stick to doing that sort of content in place of Let's Plays so that, you know, people know at least, although it's not always the same game, people know at least they come to this channel, they're going to get reviews and they're going to get story Let's Plays. Um, so, you know, we'll see. I'm giving it a lot of thought. It's kind of... I am finding it difficult still to convince myself to narrow it down to that. But what that would mean is that I would use my um, streams, my live streams, as kind of a catch-all for all to, to... as my kind of 
uh, steam release valve, <laughs> if you like. So to sort of to let off the steam that I don't get to, because I'm not making as many games on Let's Plays on the channel here, to let off that steam, I would play those games in the in the live streams. But you know, I haven't yet managed to 100% convince myself that that's the thing to do. So, you know, whether whether that's the direction we're going or not, I don't know. I kind of think so, but we'll see. We'll see. You'll see. You'll all see. Uh, I kind of almost made a conscious decision not to play Watch Dogs Legion here, for example. Uh, and I don't know how much that'll, how long that'll last, whether I'll stick to it but of course you will see it because i'm going to play it on stream but can you right you know you listen to you begin to see my problem right this is this is the issue that i have if you've got any ideas if anybody's got any ideas of what they think i should narrow the channel to yeah you know, i won't necessarily take your ideas you know i might i might go yeah i'm not gonna do that or maybe I'll think it's a good idea, but I just I can't bring myself because I some of the ideas that I have are not revolving around gaming, so I'm going to put those on a different channel. Um, you know, it's getting really complicated. I don't know why I started talking to you about this, thinking you'd understand. You don't get me. <sighs> I'm sorry, I got carried away. I'm trying to restrain myself. I will also try to find some fucking business. All right, well, I mean, I'm freezing to death and starving, so... This seems like as good a time as any to... find a campsite. And I, I fear that here we'll have to do... Let's pitch the tent. I only get to use it two more times. Okay. There we go, there's the tent. Um, we're probably going to have to eat one of these. There we go. Can we sleep in this? Are we going to freeze to death if we don't build a fire, or what? Oh no, I look, we're okay. We're okay, so we can just... We didn't actually need that fire, did we? No. I mean, only if I want to make more food, I guess. So, I mean, we're, like, way the hell up north now. We've got to... We've got to get something done today. We've got to find these bees. Good grief. Tale of the useless bee hunter. Right, that'll be all the rope I can pick up. I wanted to go and smash that box, but I realized there wasn't any point in doing so. Please tell me that's a bee stump. No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Looks like a regular old stump with moss on. Oh, for God's sake. I feel like I should get to some sort of award or something. There should be some sort of achievement. I kind of feel like, you know, wandering around in the woods for as long as I have, without encountering any bees, should is like I think that's quite a skill. I'm not sure just anyone could do it, to be honest. This is this has been quite possibly the least successful um, bee hunt that anybody, or hunt of any kind, actually, that anybody has ever been on. I'm not sure it even really qualifies as a hunt. More a general aimless wandering in the woods, really. Wow, now that is quite an expansive lake, isn't it? Where where are we here? So we're at the t the top. We are, wow, we are at the northeasternmost point of the map here, and it looks fantastic. I actually can't wait to see what this looks like when we get up in the morning. But then we have got to go home because this thing is not going to um, last us another day. Whew. 
we should probably like make a maybe we should put that campfire down maybe and maybe place the cooking kit I know we can't make much of anything but you know let's just make like a let's cook us up some mushroomy stuff let's eat that and we'll have room in our inventory for this mushroom job the mushroom job starring Michael Caine right let's go sleep in the morning, we will find bees. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It's stunning. I, oh, my tent tidied itself away. Because, you know, stuff. Some mushrooms for breakfast. Raw mushrooms for breakfast. Okay, that does look pretty gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that great? Screenshot time. Right. As beautiful as this all is... Look at that. Yes, as beautiful as this all is, um, it hasn't helped me find any bees. So, you know, there's that. Okay, wait, I saw a thing up here that I think was a beehive. It was a stump with bit. No, it was another one of those short bastard things. You know. This has probably been the least successful bee hunt in the history of bee hunts. And I don't even know if bee hunts are a thing. Probably not. Why would they be? Millions of guys riding out on, like, I don't know, donkeys or something. Very large dogs. Great Danes armed with tiny, tiny bows and arrows and tiny spears. Little tiny nets. We're going on a bee hunt. Uh-oh. There's a bear. But there are also bees. And I want the bees. I need these bees. Crap, I'm running in the direction of the bear. That was stupid. God damn it. Now I don't know where the goddamn beehive was. Well, this has been a spectacular failure, hasn't it? Beeswax. Honey. Honey. We got no beeswax. As I return home, limping toward my greenhouse, a failure. Well, that sucks. Made a note in my journal. Simply says, bugger. On a bee hunt again, is it? Good grief. Right. This away. I'm back where we found. So, we need three more beeswags. And I was out with a tent, camping around the place for two entire days, and I only found two beeswax. So, 
my record um, isn't great. And I'm pretty sure that that is the beehive that I clobbered last night. So there's not going to be any bees there, are there? Nope. No freaking bees there. Go over here and see if there are any bees. Good grief. I do not want to return home sans bees again. There we go. Yep, let's, let's go. Time to go. Okay. Now I just gotta find that beeswax. There it is. Ugh. Right. Into the wilderness once again. I feel like if we don't have a lot of success here, if we come back by way of that other bear that was there as we came uh, south from collecting the waltz bleaks when we went up to the northern lake there. This is another... There's another bear. And I kind of get the feeling that the bees' nests sort of hanging around where the bears are for the most part but of course I could be mistaken about that as I am about most other things Ugh, right okay right there's a bear There's the the other bear. So this here is a different bear than the last bear. Beehive! See? Follow the bear. Right. Ah! Turn around and ah! run in precisely the opposite direction. Ugh. Oh my lord. Wow. Okay, so now I don't know how many we even need now. I think we need another one. So you need another one beeswax. But I have precisely no clue where we will find it. Ah! Oh, thank God for that. Another goddamned beehive. Oh. Well, I suppose I do finally need this thing. There we go. Now we've got to go back and not get eaten by the bear. And also remember where the beehive was. It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? There. Wow. We can go home. This is where I get killed by a bear. 
because that's kind of my luck, really. Right, let's um, let's just head home <laughs> before we get into any more trouble. Oh, typical, another goddamn beehive now. Right, so I think what we've learned here is that sure enough, you can find bees where there are bears. So it, it does seem that you can find bees roughly in the vicinity of bears. Oh, for God's sake, see? This is what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm freezing to death, so it's probably not the best time to be doing this, but... Oh, God's sake. There we go. Beeswax. I just, you know, I need as much of it as I can get as quickly as I can get it. And... What's... What's... What's the betting we're now not going to make it home? Because we're freezing to death. After all that, we're not going to make it home. And we're going to die. And lose all of that that we have. All the progress that we've made. Good grief. I do hope that's not a thing. Please don't let us die now. <laughs> oh god we are gonna die so fast any minute now look at the look at the sleep meter oh my god we're gonna get home get home uh, uh. Wow. Well, I mean... <sighs> Can we even remember what the other things were now? I don't even know what they were. Cattails and stuff, right? Okay, cattails and waltz bleak skins and whatever else it was. Uh, stump moss, right, which is in the end container, right? Or do I? What? What now? What do I do? Okay. Am I wearing that now? I guess. Am I? Not? Yes. Can I equip it? Or is that. Is it equipped now? Is it just automatically equipped? I honestly have no idea. Is it? Please tell me. I don't think that's going to tell me. Well, I mean... Oh, God, I've got to put... All, no, I've got to put all this stuff back where it belongs because I don't have the room for it down here, do I? For goodness sake. Yeah. There we go. Put the stump moss back and the... I don't know goes in here cattails go in here 
rope. Does that go in there? Yes. I guess that and that. Well, I mean, you know, now we've got a got a coat. I, well, I think. I mean, do we? Does it is the tick just by the thing that we actually own? By the thing that because it says like, or is that just to say we've made it? Because it says I own it, but I've got no idea whether I'm actually wearing the thing. Am I? I don't know. Since there's no way to see my character. Uh, there is actually a way somewhere to sort of do this, but I can't remember how. <laughs> but anyway, I'd better be wearing it because that was a goddamn hard-won coat. I mean, has anybody ever gone through that much trouble to make a coat? Or to find the ingredients to make a coat? Surprisingly easy to make it. I just held down a button, but, you know, to make the thing... I'm I, I'm starting to think it might have been easier to, like, slowly earn the bear's trust, cause it to find another bear and mate with that bear, wait until both bears were off somewhere or asleep, lure them into the open, steal their cubs, raise their cubs as though they were my own, kill the cubs and make a coat out of the cubs than it was to make that coat. But... I might be overthinking this. I do that sometimes. Let's put that away. I don't want to go on another camping trip for a long time. Good grief. Oh, I probably do need that thing though now. Look, my health is really crappy now. Is there another one? Yes. There we go, look. See? Wow. Well... We've got a coat. There's that. When we will next be back in Among Trees, I don't know, to be honest. Um, as I said, there are things coming up. So there's, you know, there are um, changes to the channel coming up. When these changes will happen or exactly what the changes will be, I don't know. Because I haven't set in concrete yet these ideas for changes to the channel. But I do kind of want to narrow my focus a little bit. And if that focus narrows on what I do for a living anyway, which is voiceover, uh, and what I do for a hobby outside of this, which is writing, then, you know, if if I can marry those two things together with my love of video games to make more of these story-type episodes and make this more of a story episode kind of channel, then... Excellent. You know, I will still put the reviews on there. So if you originally came here for the reviews and you're hoping for more of those, there will be those on here. No question about that, because they are the things that bring in uh, the viewers. So there will definitely be views. But what I'm going to do with the rest of it, I don't know. At the moment, as I said, my idea is to just make more kind of story content, because it's the kind of stuff that I like to watch. It's the kind of stuff I think is funny. Um, but, you know, we'll see. And, you know, and then to sort of use my live streams as as a sort of release, <laughs> like a catch-all for all the stuff that I want to do on this channel but can't because I'm trying to narrow down the focus of the channel. But, you know, let me know if you've made it to the end of this video. Firstly, well done. Um, this is going to take some serious editing because that, according to my little clock in front of me, is about almost 80 minutes of footage that I've got to go through and trim down because that's how long I spent looking for fucking beeswax. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm going to take a drink. I'll take a drink. Have a breath. Not necessarily in that order. Take a breath. Have a drink. You know. You know how it works. Anyway. <laughs> That's what we're doing. So maybe there'll be another episode of Among Trees soon. There will definitely be another episode of Among Trees um, when the autumn update comes out to check out all the things in the autumn update and we'll you know we'll do a couple more episodes of that but you know when that will drop i don't know um i will pr i don't know what other content i'm going to be making for the time being as i said i'm giving a lot of thought to this story content thing uh there's hard space ship breaker which has got some more stuff uh and i might sort of exhaust the content on this on hard space ship space ship breaker as much as i can to kind of get myself to the point where I can change the content on the channel. We will see. But anyway, that's enough of that. I'm going to leave you now to go and watch other more interesting stuff. 
Uh, I do still stream at the moment every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday right here on YouTube. Uh, I think I'm going to be streaming Watch Dogs Legion for a bit and then probably Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Whether I'll make either two, either of those two into a video series, I don't know. Probably one of them, but that remains to be seen. But until then, you know, leave a like in the highly unlikely event that you actually liked this video. Leave a like to say so, so I can go, my God, there are people out there just as insane as I am. If you're not subscribed, but for some reason you'd like to see more content from me in the future, you know, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified every time I post new content. But until next time, from Night's Arcade, this is Sleepless Night saying nighty night. Thank you.